Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be testing out a bunch of makeup product. If you watch my whole video, you know that I've bought a lot of makeup uh, the past few months and a lot of it I haven't tried. I put it on my desk and I didn't even touch it. And I wanted to do like a first impression trying testing out video. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I did my eyebrows already. I used the Deep Brow Palmade in Medium Brown. So on camera it looks okay, but in real it looks a bit dark. I like to have bold brows, but I think medium brown is too dark for me. But anyway, I liked it. Um, and also I moisturized my face with my um, vitamin E moisture cream um, from the body shop. For my primer, actually I have a new primer by NYX. It's the... Uh, I just bit my tongue. Mmm. Um, I bought the NYX Angel Veil Primer and it's oil free, skin perfecting, what is it supposed to do? It's just supposed to be skin perfecting, it doesn't say if it's supposed to mattify or... It's like a mousse. That is so strange. Okay, it mattifies instantly, like it's actually insane. And my skin feels soft. Uh, my pores are not as big, but they are still visible. And for foundation, I only have, uh, I only have one new foundation, and it's by the Ordinary. It's the serum foundation, and I have two shades. Initially, I had bought one for my face and another darker one for my contour, but that is way too light, so I have to mix both of them. Um, and I mixed it. I used this one once. I mixed it with the CC cream by It Cosmetics, but I didn't really use it enough to see what it does on the skin, though it was mainly the um, It Cosmetics. So I'm going to be using it now. And to blend that, I'm going to be using this new NYX sponge. And I like the shape of it. It's like, like the beauty blender, but here it's like a bit flat. And you have this um, flat um, side here as well, which is perfect for concealer. And I've had this sponge for ages on my desk, and I just never used it because I had other sponges to use okay i feel like now it's more true to color i changed the lighting a little bit because i wasn't i was a bit too light and that's what i look like more before it was a bit too pale and even now i'm a bit darker than that uh the foundation is actually good i thought it would be too dark but it actually matches the rest of my body I think because I'm used to having a pale face, um, yeah. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to conceal, and I don't have um, a new concealer, so I'm just going to be using my Lasting Perfection by Collection in the shade Fair. Okay, I have no idea why, but the foundation is patchy here, and it's really annoying me because I've blended well, but. It's just patchy, I have no idea why. I really think that I only need to use this foundation to mix it with something else because on its own it just doesn't work for me. Maybe it's better to apply it with a brush, I don't know. I, I think I tried it before with a brush and I found it a bit patchy as well. Anyway, keep moving on. Um, so concealer done. Now I'm going to continue the face. I don't think I want to do the eyes um, straight away. So I actually have a new loose powder uh, by Maybelline. It's the Master Fix Setting and Perfecting Loose Powder. It blurs and smooths and mattifies the skin. Under my eyes and basically my T-zone. So bridge of my nose here and chin. And for the rest of the face, I'm going to wait because I want to try a new product. And it's the um, Contour Steak by Tanya Bar. And I took the shade Medium Dark. I don't think there's a dark shade. So I'm going to contour my cheekbones. Forehead because, hello, big forehead. Yeah. 
don't think it's going to be moving very easily if I'm honest. With the sponge, it's not too orange, more like, but I would prefer it to be a bit more cool tone. So I'm taking this Kabuki brush, this one is by Larock. Let's see if we can get it from here. Way easier with the brush. And for um, the nose contour, I'm taking this brush by Sephora. It's the the 31 mm. on the nose it's not the best but for the face it's fine but you can't really get away with it on the nose when it's a bit too warm and it's more like on the warm side rather than the cool side so as a base it's fine but I wouldn't really use it on my nose if I'm honest we're going to set our contour powders and for that I'm going to be using the NARS Bord de Plage palette is that the, what it's called and in it you have four highlighters uh, and you have two uh, contour shades slash bronze so that's Casino and that's Laguna so what I'm going to do I'm first going to be using Laguna because actually I don't even have the Laguna bronzer I just have the Casino one I'm, not, I'm really not a fan of the foundation because you won't be able to see the closely from far away you can't see but very closely you can see that it's patchy in that area and I really blended it well so I don't know why it's doing that uh, it's really annoying me if I'm honest but hey I'm gonna give it a go and to deepen a little bit the contour I'm going to be using Casino it does look very warm red. I think you can see. See, you can see the the patchiness here. Mm, that's annoying me. I have to do something about that. And I'm going to do the highlight because it's the same palette. So I swatched the highlights here. I think I'm going to mix these three. Brow bones. And next for the face, uh, I have a blush. So I have the California by Benefit. Everyone talks about it, so I can't wait to try it out. And look how pretty it is with like the gold sun on it. Oh, can't wait to try it. Oh, the smell. Mm, so, oh, what does it smell like? What does it smell like? Like papaya or something like that. I don't know. Something exotic. Okay, now moving on to the eyes. So for the eyes, I forgot to set them with powder earlier. So I'm going to do that really quick. And sorry, I don't know if I said it, but for the powder, I was using the Kikas or for the rest of my face. Basically, when you set your eyeshadows, when you uh, when you apply a concealer or an eyeshadow primer, you want to set that with powder because sometimes it can make it it can make it hard to blend if you have something a bit tacky and then you go with the powder, it can you know be a bit patchy and they'll not blend nicely so that's why I like to use a powder and take it really far down because sometimes when you blend and if you do like a smoky very blended out look you want to make sure you have set the whole eyelid in twice right okay I'm going to be using um, the dose of color eyeshadow palette uh, that's uh, Lost Relax Katie and Daisy Perkins did. So um, I'm, I'm going to try and use all the shades and they are all like shimmery ones and this one which is 
soothes and helping you to use them wet. I think a matte brown to put in a crease, so I'm going to be taking Laguna and I'm going to put it in the crease but as usual above the crease because I have hooded eyes so I want it to be visible when my eyes are open. I think I'm going to first apply the brown one into the crease under Laguna that I just applied. And for that I'm going to be using this new brush by The Body Shop that I got yesterday. Uh, and what's the name? N93E. Okay, and I'm going to apply that in the crease. Taking the other blending brush I used with Laguna and just blending. So for the eyelid I'm going to first go with the green and you're supposed to use it uh, wet. So I'm going to be taking a flat concealer brush and this one is the 248 by MAC. Oh, actually it doesn't work really well with the um, brush. I'm just going to go with my finger. It's a very unique color. And for the edges, I'm taking my uh, concealer brush that I was using initially. I don't know what I'm going to do like in the crease. I try to make it uh, not very blended, like to very be precise with my brush. But I'll see if I add something else or I'll see. It's absolutely stunning. And now I'm going to be using Suze into the inner corner. And Suze as well needs to be used wet. So I'm taking it a little bit onto the lid. And I want to try it really, the, the dark one. So I'm going to apply that on my lower lash line. And I'm just taking a precise brush, any brush you want. Hmm. So taking my Eco Tools brush with like that fluffy but like precise with a crease, I'm going to take the shimmery brown in the in the palette and apply it a bit more. see it enough. And also on my lower lash line to blend the, the purpley sheen. I don't really know how to describe the color because it looks different depending on the angle and the lighting and everything. But I'm going to be taking this eyeshadow blender by the body shop. I'm just going to blend the edges with that. It's clean, there's nothing on it. Because it's very precise, so it can really blend on the edges and not the whole eyeshadow, if that makes sense. But taking the same brush, I'm dipping it into the Laguna and I'm just blending my lower lash line. Okay, so I think for the eyes, I like it like that, so I'm going to keep it like that. I'm going to be trying this mascara by MAC. I love the packaging. And it's the Bold and Bad, Bold Bad Black uh, Mascara. And you have two uh, brushes for bottom and top lashes. Um, it's nothing special, if I'm honest. <laughs> And the bottom one is nothing special either, but at least it's precise so you don't end up with mascara all over your, all under your eye, you know, it can be a bit annoying, especially uh, when you do like nice makeup. 
for false lashes I'm going to be using the Lily lashes in the style Miami so I had those lashes before but I only wore them twice so that's a new pair so I'm going to be careful with them this time because last time they were worn in just two two days <laughs> and they look so flattering oh my god they're so stunning So I just put the Miami lashes on. I had forgotten how voluminous and a bit fake they look, but I like them. Uh, but as you can see in the inner corner, it looks a bit naked. So I'm going to take the tattoo liner by Kat Von D. It's not new, but I don't have a new liner. And I'm going to basically just fill that in because it looks a bit naked and we don't have our lashes into the inner corner. Now that I'm looking at the eyes, I want to add a little bit more. So on the lower lash line, I applied the, the purpley blue, I don't even know how to say the color. I'm going to apply a little bit more of that. And I think I want to take that color somewhere in the top lash line. So maybe you can see I'm just putting it in the other corner. Okay, so I just apply this one, which is half moon. I apply that in the outer corner, you can see. And I blended it with uh, Nolly, which is the shimmery brown. And now I'm blending again all the edges. It doesn't look as good on camera. In real, it looks stunning. That highlight, the NARS highlight, it's quite subtle. So I'm going to apply another one on top of it. And it's the Tanya Burr Illuminating Powder in um, Champagne Sorbet. Okay, and for the lips, I'm going to be using the Lip Cheat in Iconic Nude by Shower Tilbury. That's it for the lip liner, but I want to tone that down. So I'm going to be taking now the Huda Beauty Trendsetter uh, lip liner. Yeah, I also have this More Creamer Please. It's the same collection that Daisy Perkins and uh, Lester Lux did with Dots of Colors. So let's see. I'm going to spread the Mario Tedesco facial spray. Okay, guys, that's the final look. So I used pretty much only new product all over my face, just a few. I didn't have any new products. So I just used used ones that I had. But I hope you liked it. I love how it turned out. I highly recommend this palette, though. If it's restocked, get your hands on that. Um, I love the Tanya Bum uh, highlighter as well, the California Blush by Benefit. This palette, the NARS Body Clash palette, it's pricey but it's really good. I liked the Maybelline Master Fix. Oh, there's no eyelashes on it. The Master Fix powder, it really smoothed under my eyes. It didn't look cakey or too drying. So I recommend that as well. Uh, what else do I recommend? I like those lashes. The NYX sponge, really like it. Charlotte Tilbury lip liner, love. Lipstick, I liked it. The more creamer, like those of colors, really nice nude. But I like to use it in the center of my lips and then a darker lip liner. Um, I think that's pretty much it. My favorites. Oh, I like the primer as well. The NYX pri primer. My pores don't look visible. I think it's because of that and also the uh, Master Fix Loose Powder. It really smoothed out my skin. So I really like that. So yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up as usual. And if you don't see my videos in your subscription, bleh. and if you don't see my videos in your subscription, oh my god, I can't talk today. If you can't see my videos in your subscription boxes, make sure to click the bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Yeah, uh, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye guys!